Hello, today we're gonna renovate the guard's house in the Sims 4. Oh yes, we are. And for this renovation, I am gonna be using a randomly generated budget because I think that's more fun. Mm -hmm. And as you may know, I have been sick for the past few weeks. I had the big Rona. I'm doing a lot better now, but I'm still kind of recovering. So if I sound a little nasally, that's why. <laughs> So without further ado, let's start renovating, shall we? Oh, we freaking shall. All right, so here is the guard's house in all its glory. And I didn't remember it being this bad. I gotta be honest. Okay, it isn't that awful. It isn't as awful as some of the buildings in this game. But, you know, it's still something to behold. You know, it's kind of kind of wonky, kind of out there. And I think they have updated this house because of the curved stuff, you know? They didn't have that in the beginning of the game. Um, So that's kind of worrisome. But anyways, let's have a little look inside. And Oh, it's pretty dark in here, actually. But you know, it isn't that bad. You got the living room right here. Then you got the mahusive hallway right there. And the dining room that has red curtains and purple chairs. Interesting choice. But you know. And then we got the kitchen right here with a little dining nook over there. And a pretty weird looking chair. Is that supposed to be there? Or have I messed up the game somehow? Hold on. Wait a minute. All right, I'm back. I went into a brand new save game just to check the house. And it looked exactly the same as this house. So it wasn't me who messed up the game. But what is that chair? doing here i am so confused <laughs> okay but you know we got the kitchen which is um all right then you got the mahusive bathroom with almost nothing in it for some reason and then on the second floor we got another hallway with a piano you know and another mahusive bathroom with almost nothing in it what is going on here the space of this bathroom wait what they have a door leading out to the balcony from the bathroom i would not feel safe in that bathroom but okay <laughs> Here is the primary bedroom, which is looking all right. There we've got their own little ensuite bathroom. And here is Cassandra's room, I do believe. And she likes purple, apparently. And on the third floor, we got Alexandra's bedroom, I do believe. Which is, you know, it's all right. But it doesn't look like a kid's bedroom, you know, you know, you know. It really doesn't. So, without further ado, let's get our budget for this frickity frickity renovation house. Bah, bah, bah. And for this renovation, I have went with a minimum of 50000 and a maximum of 500000 Just to get some more excitement. I don't know so let's generate me number one two three go Wait, oh, 224,300 simoleons that's not bad at all that's a big budget <laughs> i think we can <laughs> make something happen with that if i can't make something happen with 200,000 simoleons i am gonna be in big trouble you know <laughs> and side note for this renovation i'm not gonna limit myself with any sort of packs because for one i was just sick as i just mentioned so i don't want to challenge my brain too much and two i simply don't want to and that's that so let's um let's begin shall we we can shout okay so I think first of all, I'm just gonna make the house a little bit smaller because this house is massive compared to the lot size. Like the house is going up to the lot lines, you know? This is a mahusive house. So I'm just gonna take it in a few places, you know? I'm gonna take it in one here. Now this looks pretty weird. So I am gonna cut this room off here. I'm gonna do it like so. Pop it on there, you know? And then for the hallway, I mean, we can take the hallway one tile in. That's massive. Boom, shamalam, and the stairs, and that gone. That gone. Oh, and then for this room, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of all of this. It's just in the way, but I'm gonna take this room one in there, one in there. Now it looks weird. What did I do? I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna take down all the walls. Yeah, it's gonna take them all down. So now it's just one shape. Gonna be easier for me. I was getting confused and scared and I didn't like it. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna take this room, some tiles in. Can I do it though? No, she could not. She could not. Okay, let's try to make a little octagon here. Can she do it? She kind of did it. Oh, and then we got this octagon. I have messed up this octagon. I don't know what to do here. Okay, what if we make it go one out and then two? And then no. I have to figure that one out because right now it looks weird. Okay, what about the hallway? Can we make some funky shapes up in the hallway? What if I take this corner in a little bit and then I also remove that corner? What's gonna happen then? Oh, what did I do? I made a hole into the abyss. Maybe I can make a little thingy thing right there. Just to get some shapes. Some sweet, sweet shapes. Okay, back to this octagon. That's gonna look weird. Why can I make it not look weird? What if I take the house a little bit in here? And then I go like so. To create a little octagon, you know? Ah, I mean, I have to see with that. But I made an octagon, people. And I'm proud of that. I really am. Okay, let's go into the second floor and oh my gosh oh what have i done to the house oh but jeebus me <laughs> i can't stop laughing this is horrible i think i just have to delete the second floor and just follow the shape that i've already made you know boom now for this room oh this room you know what i was gonna say who has a staircase that leads straight into the bedroom but um i have a staircase that leads straight to my bedroom and that staircase goes into the basement so i have lived a very nice and peaceful life not scared at all so this room i'm just gonna take the room a little bit in on the each side you know and then i can just follow what goes along on the bottom i can manage to do it oh that 
that's gonna be a weird room but okay alexandra's gonna have a fun fun bedroom he really is <laughs> i don't know what i've done here but i've done something it's gonna be magical bleep it's gonna be magical all right so what we're gonna do now is to lower the freaking foundation because that is massive that is tall that is scary but not in a good way and then i'm gonna figure out the whole patio situation out here so i'm gonna delete it to get a fresh start but it's gonna look the same no it's not gonna look the same it's gonna have the same vibes i promise you that so maybe the patio can start out here then go something like so and then go to out here you know what yeah maybe it could be something like that and then we can have a patio that goes along here in the same way and then it kind of stops right there ah! me maybe i'm on something maybe i'm not but we shall see okay before we begin with anything else i think we need to do the layout of this house <laughs> because if we figure out that this doesn't work it's gonna be really really bad so <laughs> let's make the layout now i want things to be in the same place as they were before because i want it to look the same you know this is a renovation so i think this can be the living room and then the hallway can be here and they did have a bathroom down here so can we squeeze one in who knows i have to see what's going up here Ooh, okay i think the primary bedroom was around here and then cassandra's bedroom can be here and then we can have some sort of room right here. Don't know what it's gonna be, but it's gonna be something. It's gonna be something. Oh no, where am I gonna put the stairs? I need some stairs. Maybe the stairs can be around here. Oh no, I need some other stairs. That small little room up here. Oh no. What am I gonna do up here? Ghibli. I need to figure this out. The stairs always ruin everything. <laughs> they do. <laughs> All right, it's a little while later. It took a long time to figure out the staircase situation. Okay, it did. <laughs> it was a nightmare, but I made it. I, I made it to the end and I also squeezed in some bathrooms. So life is good. All right, so here is the layout of the house. We have the entryway right here with a little bathroom a half bath you could call it you good <laughs> and right here we have the kitchen with a little breakfast nook right there and a formal dining room and then right here we have the living room oh la la and then upstairs we have a hallway and the primary bedroom an ensuite bathroom and then right here we have cassandra's bedroom and then boom shabala we have a bathroom a big old weird bathroom do not ask me do not ask and then right here i'm not really sure what this room is gonna be but it's gonna be an office maybe who knows let's see where things Take us. Yes. And then on the third floor, we have Alexander's bedroom with the staircase. Yes, that's the situation with the staircases. I, oof, no, let's not talk about it. All right, let's begin with the exterior of the house, shall we? Oh, we freaking shall. Ooh, so what do I want to go for? I want to go for something goth at least. So maybe I can start off with this one from werewolves. And then maybe we can have a little brick moment on those octagons. You know, you know, is that good? I like this. Maybe if I change up the foundation to something better. What about this? Oh yeah, a lot better already. Now let's start on the roof. And oh, yikes. I don't even know where to start with the roof. <laughs> but maybe if I start with a half hipped roof and I go like so, and then I just copy that on all sides. Bobbity bobbity bum. Then I get a little square platform and then I raise it up to high heavens. Beautiful, magnificent. Have you seen anything better? I don't think so. What happened here? Where did my walls go? Did I do something? I don't know, but I'm gonna fix that later. I'm working on my roof. And then on top of that roof, we can have a little fence and that doesn't work. Why not? Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna fix that later too. But anyways, <laughs> maybe on the sides here, we can have one of these gabled roofs and we can make some funky little shapes. Wow, kind of looks cool already, doesn't it? Well, not from afar, but when you get close up, it looks kind of cool. <laughs> and then right here, I can do the same trick as I did up there with these half hip roofs. Okay, can a fence go on this platform? Apparently not. Okay, that is exactly what I needed today. You know, fences not working at all. All right, now I want some sort of roof that goes along here. And can I do that? Let's see. What if I go like so? Create some shapes, the beautiful, beautiful shapes. I mean, yeah, I think I can live with that roof. <laughs> Ooh, what is happening here? Oh yeah, that's right. This roof. You see that little squiggly squiggler there? I have tried to hide that up. I have tried everything, okay? You name it, I've tried it. So I just need to hide it. And that rhymed. And what am I gonna hide it with? Who knows? I hid it with that thing. I hid it up nice. <laughs> Don't, don't, we're not talking about that anymore. We are gonna move on to the windows. Oh, exciting stuff. So what windows do I wanna go for? For this sort of house, I would actually really like to use these sort of windows, but these windows do not come in a solid black color. So that ruined the mood. So maybe I can actually use the windows that they use on their old house. These sort of windows. I think that fits the mood. The ambiances. Yeah, kind of does. And for the door. We need a door, people, we do. I know it's hard to hear, but we need a door. Maybe I can go with the medium wall height doors. I never get to do that. What an exciting day. Ooh, I kind of like that door. Maybe I can use that door. I made my choice, people. I'm gonna use that door. What a beautiful day. Oh, wait a hold a minute. I need to put up the doors for the balcony and stuff. Ooh, I almost forgot. So maybe we can have a door right here. It would make more sense if the door was here, but I think that's gonna ruin the kitchen. So I care more about the kitchen than the door to the outside. I gotta be honest, I do. <laughs> All right, on the second floor, where's the door gonna be? The door could be here or here. I think maybe there. Seems like a good spot. Yeah. All righty, so I've been putting up a lot of my windows, as you can see all around town but as i was placing this window i suddenly got an idea for my mistake that i did right here <laughs> i don't know where my walls went but they went somewhere and it inspired me to do 
something. What if right here I put up some columns like so and I put up a little fence right here to make an unusable balcony. Isn't that a great idea by Nora? I mean wow wee wow wow. And I think on those roofs I want to put up some dormers. Can I do that? That's gonna look weird. Well on to tool mod we go. I'm gonna scale it down and I'm gonna fix everything. I mean yeah that looks kind of cute with the dormers. <laughs> Actually yeah I'm gonna keep that. And now for these platforms that I couldn't put my freaking fences on. I need to go into debug and see if I can find something there. Ooh, okay, maybe I can use this one if I just scale it down. I mean, you know what? That could actually work, you know? If we just look at it from afar, I, I might do that. That's gonna take a long time, but I'm gonna do it. And I think that's looking very cute. How does it look from afar? It looks all right. What are we gonna do now? I'm gonna put up some lights. Oh, and I'm also gonna put up some uh, plant boxes. I don't know if that's allowed, but it's allowed in my mind. Allowed. Oh, you know what I mean? I don't even know what I mean right now, <laughs> but okay. Let's uh, do the garden. And what am I gonna do for the garden? What could be fun? What could be neat? What could be nice? I want to, first of all, sketch it out as I usually normally do. So I think I want a pathway that goes from here to here. I mean, surprise, surprise. And then we can have something there. And then we can have a pathway that goes from here and all the way to the staircase in the back. I mean, that could be fun, you know? And ooh, what if we make this pathway like really wiggly wiggle over here? Just for funsies, you know? Just for funsies. And then we can have a pathway that goes out here. And then we can have a sitting bench there or something. Something, something. And then around it, we just have a lot of plants and stuff. I think that could be an idea. I really do. So let me just do this pathway for real this time. For real. All right, here is how the wiggly wiggliness is going. Very nice and neat. And I kind of decided to put a little fountain there. I think maybe I am, you know. What am I going to start with now? I do wonder. I think maybe I want to frame this whole pathway in with something. I don't know what that something is, but I'm going to find that out. Okay, maybe I can just use these bushes and then I size them down a bunch of times, like so. And let's hope that it doesn't take all day. Let's hope for that. Because, oh my gosh, what have I got myself into? Why do I keep doing this? Why? <laughs> Why do I keep doing projects that take all the friggity friggity day? I don't know why, but I do. It's probably gonna look nice. I hope it's gonna look nice or I'm gonna be really sad. And oh my gosh, here it is, people. Oh my gosh, my voice went up to a tone that I didn't know I had. Okay, well, here is the pathway in all its glory. It's looking lovely. And now I'm gonna be putting up some plants everywhere. I think plants in here and plants over there and plants around there. And what plants is that gonna be? Mostly plants. What? What did I say? Oh my gosh. But yeah, Nora's gonna put up some plants. Plants with some white flowers and some plants with some red flowers. The girls, they like the red. And I'm also gonna find some green, green, greenery to put in there. Oh me, oh my. Look how pretty it looks. <gasps> we got some red, we got some white, we got some greenery. I used the uh, pea bushes <laughs> from Get Together. I think they fit in here, you know. And on the side here as well. That is lovely. I like that. And I do believe, actually, on this side, you can put up some of these trees to hide up the ugliness of the house. <laughs> Bushes and trees, they hide up the ugliness of the house, which sometimes you need. And by sometimes, I mean always. And then I think in front here, we could have a little fence moment. And we could use a fence like normal people. Or we could use some hedges. Or we can do both. And what do I mean by both? I don't really know anymore. But what if we take some of these bushes and then we go into debug and then we find some funky stuff in here? Okay, maybe if I go for this one and I go like so, and I can also use this to create some magic, maybe something will happen then. Could it be something? Could it indeed be something, people? I don't know. Well, let's find out. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think I I like it. Do I like it? Yeah, yeah. It creates some shapes. I even put up a mailbox. You know, you know. Now, what are we gonna do in the back? I need to figure out what I'm gonna do in the back. All right. What if right here we put up some uh, headstones? Because you know it is Halloween soon, and the Goth family they have some secrets. They have some dark, dark secrets. And then we can have like a bench there or something. And then I can also pop in a tree and just some little shrubbery to make this place pop. And yeah, I think that was the landscaping of the house. Got my trees. Got my gravestones. Got my pathway. My mailbox. You know, you know. I kind of like. Like it at all. Oh, and then for the patio, what can we do for the patio? What if <laughs> we have a chair there? Oh my gosh, that's very random, but okay. Oh, and then we can have a chest table right there. That's a lovely idea by Nora. And then in this little nook, we can have an easel. And of course, a trash bin. You cannot forget about that. Boom, jam along. And then right here, I can put up some plants. Maybe somebody has been planting away, you know? <gasps> and oh my gosh, what if I get another part right here? And then what if I just put in a teeny tiny little plant in there? <laughs> You know, Mortimer, he's trying to garden, okay? That's his new hobby. And I also put up a little table with some little plants on there because Mortimer, he's trying his best. All right, he is. What more can I have in here? I can have a welcome mat, why not? And then I can do my little light switch trick, which is where I take that uh, photo right there. And then I squeeze on a little light switch. And then it kind of looks all fancy dancy. And I'm going to pretend that's a door clock. And what can we have in a little space right there? I do wonder. What if we just have this little red bicycle right there? <laughs> they are family, okay? They are bicycling around. Fantastic, I love 
love it. Now, let's move on to the inside. And for the inside, I think I'm going to begin with the living room. Because why not? So, this is how the living room was looking like before. As you can see, it wasn't that bad. But I'm going to make it better. Hopefully, I'm going to make it better. So, I am going to include the key elements that they had. I am. So, they had a chess table. They had a fireplace. Had some bookshelves. And they liked the red couches. Can we make that happen? We have these couches. But they are so red. I know that that's the point. But they're just so red. I kind of want like a dark red. Like this one. Oh, that would have been cool. That's the type of red that I want for this house. But do we have any other couches that I could work? No, we do not. <laughs> I look through them all. We do not have another couch that matches this one. And it's going to be weird to have the exact same couch. Like so, you know? Ah, well, okay then. I'm going to go for these couches. And then we need a fireplace. So maybe the one from Vampires could work. And then I am going to put up a brick wall behind there. For the ambiances. And some columns. Oh, the ambiance today. And I'm also going to put up some stone flooring for the protection. Gotta protect this house, people. And then on top of that fireplace, I'm going to put in some naked necks. Some sweet, sweet fireplace naked necks. <laughs> All right, so I put up some candles, some picture frames, some flowers, some books, some vases, some more creepy stuff. And I also put up a little black cat and the Grim Reaper. All right, let's put in the coffee table. We need a good, good coffee table. What am I going to pick for them? I think I'm going to go for this one from the university pack. Is it from the university pack? Yes, it is. Wow, wow, wow. That was a cool journey we were on right there. And I think I'm also going to go for this carpet. I think that fits the vibe and the color scheme. Yeah. And then on the end here, we can have a little table. Should I have it in black or dark brown? I have to see about that. But I'm gonna put up some Nikini Nacks on that and uh, everything will be fine. I promise you. Put up a little lamp, a coffee cup, and some books. What more could you ask for, really? Oh, and now for the curtain situation. What am I gonna do for the curtain situation? Mm. Oh, no. I hate the curtains in this game. Wait, we have these from the new nursery kit. Do we have that in the goo color? Oh. They don't really match the couch, but I think we can live with that. And for these windows, oh no. I mean, they're not gonna work, are they? <laughs> no. Oh, I gotta figure that out too. Well, all right, I'm gonna put up my chest table. And what if I put up a lamp right there so they can really see what they're doing? <laughs> it is dark in this house, okay? They might need that. Oh, and I can also have this new carpet right there. That fits in nice. I like that. Cool, beans, moving on. I think in this corner, we can have a creepy old chair, can't we? I think we can. And what if we put in a creepy old doll and Put it on that chair. Wouldn't that be something? That is very creepy, but uh, <laughs> that's reminded me of Coraline and uh, oh, I was traumatized. I'm still traumatized. Well, anyway, so let's also put up a tiny, tiny table because why not? This one, maybe. I have sized it down. Ah! Oh no. And then on that wall, what if we have a shelf? And then we put some creepy things on that shelf. And there is my shelf of creepy, creepy things. Love it. 10 out of 10. Ooh. And we can't forget Ghidri. We need to put him on the wall. How could I forget Ghidri? You can never ever forget him. Mm -mm -mm. And then right here, what can we have right there. Maybe a bookshelf? Yeah, I can squeeze that in. Yeah, that works for me. And then, oh, we need a really creepy grandfather's clock in there. This one from vampires. That's creepy. That's nice. I love it. And now I have to figure out the curtains for these windows. And what am I going to do? I mean, these are going to fit, but I don't, they're too skinny for me. Maybe I can just go for the black curtains like these ones. Oh, that's going to be really squeezed in. But do I have another option? I mean, we have these, but they don't really fit with the vibe. Oh, I got to go with these curtains. I don't Relax, Dora, relax. But yeah, here is a living room in all its glory. You know, nice and dandy, nice and dandy. Got my creepy chair with my creepy doll. Fireplace, you name it. We got it. We even got Ghidri over there. <laughs> right. Now, I do believe we're going to move on to the dining room. And I'm going to start off with putting up this table. Boom. Because it's red. Has some dark vibes. Good all around. Now, I need to put up my chairs. Maybe I can go for these chairs on the end. And then I can put up these chairs on the sides. To get some hierarchy in this family. <laughs> what am I even saying anymore? I really don't know. And then something that I really, really want to put in is those sugar skulls with the funky own shelf. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I do like that. I think it fits in well. Moving on. And since this door is going to the outside, I do think we need some sort of clothing rack right here. It might get cold, people. It might get cold. And also a little door mat and a shoe rack and a huge picture of some people that I don't know who is. Well, beautiful. <laughs> Alright, so that was the dining room. Nice and funky. Maybe I'll put in some more right there, but I gotta think about it. Alright, now for the kitchen. And I think I'm gonna put up some different wallpaper for the kitchen just to get some separation, you know. It's it's always good to have separation from people time to time. It's only good. And I'm going to go with this one. Bam. All right. What type of kitchen do we want? I mean, it's going to be a pretty weird kitchen since it has to be open there and there. But we're going to figure it out. I think I'm going to use these cabinets. No counters. Gosh darn it. And then I'm going to go for this fridge. I think God. Probably not. And then maybe this stove. And a sink. We need a sink. How could I forget? Bam. Okay. So this is how the kitchen is looking so far. You know what? I have mixed feelings about this kitchen. But it was weird from the start too, you know? It was weird. Um. So that's not my fault. <laughs> Says the person. 
first news supposed to random at this place. Um, okay. And here are my kitchen nickety knacks. You know, got some plants, books, the normal sink stuff, some knives, some vegetables, a tea corner, some more knives. They need a lot of knives. And those are some cool knives, by the way. Wish I had those. Oh, and I also have a trash can and uh, those, uh, I was going to say napkins, aprons. <laughs> got some aprons. Okay, let's move on to the freaking breakfast nook. And I am going to put up this round table right in the middle. Ooh, with some cute little roses on there. Where did I go? They're disappearing. Hello? There. And also some chairs. You need chairs to sit on the table. If you didn't know, you know now. Oh, and I can also put in this corner shelf thing. Oh, and then we can't forget Mr. Vladidati. He is needed in every breakfast nook. And that was... Oh, no, we need some curtains. Oh, no, we need some curtains. I'm gonna put up the same curtains that I put up everywhere. These ones. What a wonderful, wonderful breakfast room. Bam, bam, bam. Shamala. Oh, and then we have the entryway. How could I forget the entryway, people? How could I forget? Uh, I am first off gonna change the wallpaper to something else. Just for some change in scenery, you know? And then by the front door here, I'm gonna put up a carpet. And we can't go wrong with black and red. If not, I can put them up correctly. Oh my gosh. No, I do it. Ah! Well, that was embarrassing. I'm gonna put up some shoes now as well. <laughs> Ooh. And then maybe we can have an entryway table right there. And what table is that gonna be? We can use this one from Discover University. I mean, those are some fancy, curvy legs. I do gotta say. And on top of that table, we of course gonna put up some nicky knacks. Who would have thunk it, really? And here is my hallway table. Got some urns. <laughs> some flowers, picture frames, glasses. And a golden box in the picture frame. Oh la la. And then I do believe we need a mirror on there. And what could be good for that? Maybe I have to make something myself. What if I take this mirror and then I create some shapes, people? <laughs> ah, yeah, I created some shapes. Happy with that. And then I do think we need another carpet over here. Just a carpet for the people apes. How long is it gonna be? That's a good question. I wish I had the answer to that, but I don't. But I am gonna put up a picture of a creepy, creepy house. And then I do think I want to make a picture collage on that stair wall. Staircase wall? Is that what it's called? Why am I rhyming so much today? I don't know. Ta-ta, here are my picture collage wall. Some random, random pictures. Happy with that. What more can we have in this entryway? I can put up a plant. And this night. <laughs> Look, the guards had that in their old house before the renovation. And I thought they might miss him, okay? Oh, you know, I put them there. Don't want to separate the family. That's the last thing you want to do. Oh, and now we're going to put up the gosh darn curtains. What if I go for something different this time? What if I go for uh, these curtains? I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Well, I'm not really going to think about that too much. And I'm going to move on to the bathroom. And I'm going to put up my sink. Boom. And some soap. And the very, very fancy mirror. And hand towel, of course. There's not much space for the hand towel, but we can squeeze it in. And then we can't forget about the toilet. And yes, I'm going to use this toilet. They need that toilet. And of course, some toilet paper rolls on there. And another toilet paper roll. And this toilet paper roll. Boom. And then Ghidri is going to be in here too. <laughs> I don't know why, but he is. Wait, hold on. How much money have we used by now? I have not looked at the budget because I kind of forgot that we have the budget. <laughs> oh, no. If I have used more than 200,000, I don't want to be here anymore. Okay, make your bets now, people. Make your bets now. How much have I used? Let's see. 135,444 simoleons. Have I used that much? Apparently, I have. But anyway, so let's start with the frickety frackety primary bedroom. And we need a good old bed for them. And I think they had this bed, which is a vibe and half. Oh, wait, that's kind of annoying that the chairs and the nightstands has a dark dark brown color on them, but the bed has a black frame on it. <gasps> oh no. Well, that has a dark brown frame, but that's purple and I want a red one. Oh no, what am I gonna do then? Interesting, very interesting. You have the vampire bed, but that's too much. Even for me. Even for the gas. <gasps> what if I use the heart bed? Do they have a dark red? They do. Am I going over the line here? I know that that's not goth per se, say, but it is the heart bed, which is iconic. It's been in every single Sims game and so has the gas. And you know, the gas are kind of flirty, romantic, and so is this bed and it's also red. Did I talk myself out of that hole? Maybe I did. I'm gonna use that bed. <laughs> if somebody's gonna complain about that, I don't wanna hear it. I've made my choice. Moving on. What else can we have in here? I can put up this Ottoman and this baby purse for some reason. It doesn't really make sense that it is a baby diaper bag purse, but we're gonna pretend that it's not. Mind your business, people. Mind your business. And I'm also gonna put up a carpet. Oh, what carpet is gonna function with this? I don't know. All right, it's a long while later. I have tried every single carpet and nothing seems to work. So I opted for this carpet from the Crystal Creation Pack and then I just plunked them on top of each other and made something happen. It looks pretty weird right now. Now, but I think I'm gonna have a fireplace right there so I can't scooch it out because then it's gonna catch fire and we do not want that so let's see where this is going and I think I'm gonna go with this fireplace plunk it down there put up some stone flooring for the protection and my brick wall and I'm gonna frame everything in with some columns and me fences wonderful and you know the drill I'm gonna put up some sweet sweet nickety knacks on there I always do it's important with nickety knacks mm -hmm. it is you know you know I put up a painting some books a picture of an apple <laughs> why not a very creepy statue some flowers and whatever that is some toiletries? Oh no, but 
is that the most good people left for some reason and this creepy creepy mirror oh that's lovely right now for this situation octagonal sitting room situation we need a table not that one though this one can fit and then i'm gonna put up a candelabra book and a mug Ta -ta, like so <laughs> and then to make this uh, octagonal room even funkier i'm gonna put up this curtain from a love struck and just squeeze it right on there yeah very cool very cool and then oh boy i do need some curtains for this room what am i gonna do oh maybe these ones okay you know what i do like that question mark and then i'm gonna put up the same curtains on these windows as well okay they don't reach the floor but i don't want to anymore <laughs> all right right here we need to have a dresser it's not a bedroom without a dresser people it's not i'm gonna put up this one plunk it down there and then i'm gonna put me sweet sweet nicky knacks on there you know you know put up some candles a purse some books picture frames and a bird cage for some reason and it's called the bird jail wonderful <laughs> Okay, what more do we need? What if you put up this picture right there? That is not the vibe, is it? But hear me out. It has a black frame and some red lights. Maybe they do like that vibe. Maybe they do. How can I make this worse? Because I am truly on the journey now. Wait, ooh, what if I put up this wallpaper? You know what? That is a funky little corner. I'm gonna keep it. I've decided I'm just gonna have that wallpaper in that corner and uh, nowhere else. That's the funky corner, people. Welcome, welcome. And now I'm moving on to the bathroom. <laughs> and I am gonna put up this counter for the sink. And of course the sink, that's necessary. And maybe this mirror too. And some hand soap. And some flowers if i can place them correctly and the same old toilet bam with some sweet sweet candles on top that's a fire hazard and a half but anyways <laughs> and then me friends we need a bathtub and what bathtub do i want to go for <gasps> what about this one is that too fancy for them i feel like they deserve it you know i think the direction for this house took a turn when i put in that painting you know ah the old famous neon lights painting to swamp bathtub pipeline gotta be investigated that one okay well <laughs> i'm gonna put up some paintings and stuff and now i do indeed need some towels and do we have some red towels towels by the freaking way oh i like the color of this one mm, that is beautiful but i don't really like the handles on that can i hide that up somehow same hair what if i stack the towels like so then i get a shelf and i just plop that on there to hide the bars yeah beautiful and then nikki the next uh-huh i put up some more towels some bathroom stuff a plant and a picture magnificent what else can i do in here oh and also put up that robe maybe i can put up two robes bam bam i did it and that was indeed the bathroom isn't it lovely isn't it nice i'm gonna move on to something else and i think i'm gonna to move on to Cassandra's bedroom and for Cassandra's bedroom I need some inspiration inspiration good wording Nora I'm proud of you all right so Cassandra got here she is oh wow she was <laughs> styling back then oh my gosh look at that okay, so in Sims 2 she was a field researcher hmm. so she's kind of like a sciencey girl girl all right and she was engaged oh. oh but then Sims 4 she is creative gloomy and a muser all righty then oh wait her skills in Sims 2 are cooking logic and cleaning what a skill to have. And then in Sims 4, she has a violin skill. Well, I'll be damned. She is a musical scientist. Radio. Let's start with the bed. <laughs> now, Cassandra got, she had a purple room. So I feel like she likes purple. You know, there has to be a purpose for all that purpleness. So do we have any nice purple furniture? I mean, I doubt it because Sims 4 has something against purple. You know, they do. Okay, we have some purple beds, but not really in her style. Oh, this bed is kind of nice. How is that purple, by the way? I don't know. But maybe we can go for that in black. And do we have a nice nice purple nightstand oh we have this one i can hang with that one hang with that one i can go with that style is that more correct who knows anymore but anyways i do think i want to change up the wallpaper to something more funkier because this is getting side people what about this one? Oh, okay i like that i'm gonna go for that kind of cool mm -hmm. and then what else do we need in this room i can put up a bag light and a dream catcher no that's not a dream catcher that's good mojo macrame okay i'm gonna put that up <laughs> and some drawings because i feel like cassandra goth is kind of angsty so i feel like she would have something like that you know She's an angsty teen. Oh, but on another note, I'm gonna put up this corkboard. Boom. And this poster right there. Bam. Just because it's purple, people. <laughs> Just because it's purple. Beautiful. And then right here, we can have a desk. And then, of course, a chair. That's important to have. And then we also need a little computer. So I can get her this tablet thingy thing, because that's very cute. And also, some desk naked and axe. Oh, that was not good for my throat, people. <laughs> it was really not good. And then, maybe I can put up this rug. Will that work? I hope that works, because that's the only nice purple rug that fits this shape we have, really. I hope you're happy with that. Don't know who I'm talking talking to it, but I'm talking to someone. Maybe it's you. All right, now we gotta put up a dresser. We do have a nice purple one that matches with the other purples we have, but it's not the style. It's not the vibe. It's not the ambiance. But I'm gonna put up some Nikki and Axe. It's gonna be lovely. Oh, wow. It was a lovely day. I put up a mirror, the books, an axolotl, cow plant, some stuff. <laughs> and then on top here, we can put up this tapestry of a llama. That seems like something she would have. <laughs> 
and maybe a lamp too. You're always in need of lamps, people. And then over here, I can put up some mess. I can, and I did. Oh, and then the purple rocking chair from the storybook nursery kit. Cool, cool. And then you know what? Right here, we can have a standing meta. I can maybe go for this one. It's a nice. And then we can have a teeny tiny carpet right there. Oh, and then some makeup stuff because she has been sitting on the floor doing her makeup. That's what I did for many, many years. Oh, and then we can have another rug right there. Boopity boppity bum. And whatever this is, we can sneak that back in here. <laughs> I mean, sure. Oh, and then we need a violin. How could I forget? She needs her violin. We can go with this one, the cheap one. I cannot afford the expensive one, people. I can niche. There we go. Oh, and then we need to put up some curtains. Okay. The nightmare continues. Do you think these curtains will work? Oh, and <laughs> are you kidding me? I have some floating furniture out here that are outside the lawn. I know. I'm not even going to question it. I'm going to put up my curtains. <laughs> and here indeed are my curtains. I think they fit okay. I, I just got to be okay with it. But anyways, let's move on to our next room. And I think I'm going to start working on the bathroom. I think I'm going to have the sink area here. So if I just put up some counters, lovely. And I think, and I'm going to do my funky mirror trick. Just got to use me to mod for that. And there are my mirrors. Need to squeeze them out a little bit, maybe. Not really sure. But I'm going to put up some nickety knacks. Army counters. Because that's a really new dude. Counter nickety knacks. All right. Just put up some flowers, the normal bathroom stuff, some towels, more towels, and dryer. Boom. Chamalam. And then right here, I think we're going to put up some shelves and then just stack them on top of each other like so. And then put some <laughs> bathroom stuff on there. You know, some flowers, some more flowers, or crystal, whatever that is. Crystal flower cage. And I'm also going to put up uh, this uh, painting of a piano. I don't know why, but I am. Oh, and then we need a carpet in case it gets cold in this dark, dark house. Oh, and I can squeeze in a bathtub in here. Oh, that's perfect. I love that. I mean, finally, something good happens to Dora. Finally. And I can also put up some towels in that corner. And a little stool. I don't know why they would have that, but if you want a stool, it's here. Oh, and in that corner, we can put up a table with some table stuff. And what is that going to be? Some flowers, some candles bathroom stuff that would have been good since we are in the bathroom you know and then right here i can put up some more towels they love them towels these people and then that creepy bug light bam it lights up the world oh and i almost forgot the toilet <laughs> that's gonna be in here in the toilet room <laughs> with the toilet roll and some more toilet paper and the candle they can't reach <laughs> oh maybe i can also put up a picture of some sunflowers and a broom for some reason and a picture of a guy playing piano blah blah okay so that was the bathroom put up my good old curtains again you know you know indeed very very nice Cozy your bedroom. Alright, so now we have this room, which was gonna be an office, I do believe. Did I decide on that? Maybe, maybe I did. So I'm just gonna put up this office table. Also call a desk, people. <laughs> and a computer. A typewriter computer. That's how they roll. And me naked in eggs, of course. Put up a little lamp, books, stuff. You know, you know. And actually, I have a little thinking thought. I really want to use the new storybook nursery kit for this house because it is based on Mortimer and Bella Goth. You know, that was a whole inspiration for the kid. And it's just so perfect for this house. But this family do not have have a baby they do not and since it's supposed to be a house renovation it would be kind of weird to just put in the nursery and be like say la vie that makes no sense so what if in this scenario they are expecting a baby and that was my whole scenario really they're expecting a baby so they are just still in that phase of buying furniture and baby stuff so this room is like half office half nursery and they have like boxes everywhere and stuff it could be my saving grace that story so i'm gonna put in the crib and that thing that you have over the crib and that little dreamland mobile that's <laughs> very high up in there <laughs> in the ceiling but I don't have a choice that's ridiculous do not look at that and the little diaper changing table station another cardboard box with another cardboard box on top oh and we can have another cardboard box right there with some baby stuff on it they are preparing people they are and I can also put in a bookcase right there bop -bop -bop. it is a very messy room and that was the point people that was the point let's move into the hallway we need something for the hallway we do so I think I'm gonna change up the walls to something else maybe the same wallpaper that I have down here you know bam chamalam then I'm gonna have my hallway hallway table right there and i'm gonna put some sweet sweet naked legs on my hallway table and that's what she did and then you know what i kind of want to put this painting above that it doesn't really fit the vibe of the house but it also kind of does in a strange way like it isn't goth but it fits the goths so moving on i'm gonna put up some curtains and my sweet sweet light and this door leads to the balcony so i can put up some shoes there in case you need it and the rug oh maybe i could put up this scary cabinet thingy thing over there i can squeeze that in oh and a little ottoman just in case you get tired from walking up those stairs you know i'm not judging it might happen can i put in this statue right here that makes no sense at all but i want it and that was indeed a hallway people it was <laughs> 
And okie dokie, let's move on to the last room of the house, which is Alexander's bedroom. Scary Mary, but we are here. And I gotta say, Alexander Goth in Sims 3, that is something else. <laughs> but alright, here he is in Sims 4, and he's a bookworm and a whisk kid. Alright, 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 I can live with that. So what are we gonna begin with first? The bed, maybe? The bed. Yeah, we have this bed, which, I mean, it fits the vibe, but I feel like that's too fancy for a kid. You know, I don't think that Alexander will want that. Ooh, we can go with this bed. It's kind of fancy, but not too fancy, and it fits the vibe. I'm gonna go with that. Uh, Mimi Joyce. And for the nightstand, the good old trusty, this one. Bam. And you guessed it, some nightstand nickety knacks. Right on there. You know, got an alarm clock, a lamp, some books, teddy bear, glasses, Yoda fog. And then on that bed, what if we put up this plushie that looks like Bella Gal? Is that too much? <laughs> no, I think it's cute. Alexander's gonna love it, maybe. And then you know what? I'm gonna change up the wallpaper a little bit. And I think I'm gonna go with this one from Crystal Creation. Does that look good? I think it kind of does. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. And oh my gosh, how much money have we used, by the way? <laughs> I'm scared. <gasps> 206. Oh. Where did I use all that money on? I don't know. But we're gonna make it through, people. So I'm gonna put up this decal on that wall, because I felt like it. And also some posters. And a poster of the Tooth Fairy, because maybe he likes the Tooth Fairy. Oh, and this one. What is this called? Bear Cooler. Oh yeah, we're gonna have that. And I think in this corner of the room, we're gonna have a desk. So maybe this one could work. And a little computer. iPad. Bangy thang. And some Nicky Nacks. I'm gonna put up some toys and stuff, because he's a kid. And it's gonna be neat and nice. And neat and nice it was. <laughs> And can I squeeze in this carpet as well? Yeah, I think I can. Squeeze it in. And we can also have this little snack bag, lunch box. And this uh, magical prison card right there. I love that thing. <laughs> And then right here, we can have the dollhouse. And another wall decal with the moon. Oh, that's cute. Oh, actually, what if we put up a chair in that corner? Now we can have this table right there, which I sized down. That's a cool table. Look at that. And then we can have something on that, like a book and a lamp. And that's what I did. I put up a book and a lamp. <laughs> Just the way I planned it. All right, so in this space, this awkward, awkward space, what can we do there? Maybe I could put up some bookshelves. Your sim is probably not gonna reach those bookshelves, but it's gonna look cool, people. It's gonna look cool. And there is the bookshelf. Wow. I put up some toys, some random stuff, some plants, some boxes. Wow. And you know what? That is the bedroom. Bad, bad bedroom, people. I do indeed like this bedroom. It turned out really nice. Oh, wow. Oh, and now for this balcony thingy thing. We need something out here. How could I forget? What if we put up this observatory telescope? Boom. Just to remember all the things that happened between Bella Gart and Mortimer. Those were the days. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> then we can put up a bench right there so they can look at their beautiful garden with a table and a very shabby light. Perfect. And right here, what can we have right here? I can put up some garden pots. Oh. And in this part, we can put in this plant. Very nice and red. And then maybe we can squeeze in the table there. Good enough on Nora. Good enough on Nora. Alright, so I do indeed believe that I'm done with the house. And before we begin celebrating, we should take a little look at the budget. Because I'm scared. Okay, so. 123, go. 224,280 simoleons. And our budget was 224,300 simoleons. So we are right on the money. I have 20 simoleons left, but I don't know what to use that on. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Call it a day. I'm impressed. I am impressed. And the lot value is less than the original one, which is also impressive. Maybe. So before we begin with the real house tour, I first of all want to do a little before and after montage. Bonanza. What? <laughs> Here are the before and after pictures. <laughs> Here's the before and after of the outside of the house. And oh my gosh, that is a difference. That is a big, big difference. I mean, our house is a lot smaller, but it looks a lot nicer because now we actually have a garden, you know? The house doesn't take up the whole lot space, you know? <laughs> I think, yeah. It looks a thousand times better, gotta say. Okay, what about the inside? Here's the before and after of the hallway. I mean, wow. And here's the before and after of the living room. I mean, the before wasn't that bad, you know? But it's better now. And here's the kitchen before and after. And the dining room before and after. Wow, just wow. And here's the other hallway before and after. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. And here is the bathroom before and after. I have no idea why the bathrooms are that big, but with nothing in it. I don't understand that. That is a mystery of time. But anyway, this is the before and after of the primary bedroom. The after version is a lot funkier. That I gotta say. And here's the before and after of the ensuite bathroom. Again, why is it so massive? The before. Why is it so massive? Oh no. All right, here's Cassandra's bedroom and makeover before and after. And what we are about. Cassandra really deserved better with that old uh, bedroom. She deserved better and she got a better bedroom, I hope so at least. That was my goal. Yeah. And here's also the before and after of Alexander's room. And that's a massive difference. Because the bedroom before didn't look like a kid's bedroom. Like, I know he's goth and all, but he's still a kid. Okay. <laughs> and now it is indeed time for a house tour. So I hope you enjoy that because it's starting now, people. And ooh, it looks so spooky with this filter on. I like it. And oh, wow. That's a nice house. <laughs> It is indeed a nice house. So, you know, here's the exterior of the house and the front garden. And 
all the plants that we have in the front garden, you know. And oh, that is so cute. I love that. Let's take a little stroll in my garden. And it's gonna be really, really fun. In my wiggly wiggly garden. And here we have the back of the house. Love, love. <laughs> you know, got a little bench area. Got my patio. Got my flowers. Got my graves. Got it all, peeps. I got it all. And also here is more of the exterior, if you were wondering. If you were interested, I'm ending up in the bushes. <laughs> But yeah, cool, cool house. Okay, let's step inside. Welcome, welcome. Here's my entryway. Got my table. Got my shoes. Got my armor man. Got it all. And in here, we got the one of the many, many bathrooms with Gidri and me plan. Oh, and here's the rest of the hallway with all the pictures and stuff. Love, love. Okay, let's step into the living room. And oh my, <laughs> that is a living room and a half. Got the fireplace. Oh, that's looking really nice. I like that. Oh, and the, oh, it was, I was surprised. <laughs> I shocked myself with how red it is in there. Oh my gosh. But oh my. Got my creepy doll. Just table. Oh yeah, well. Okay. Beautiful, immaculate. I'm moving on to the kitchen and dining room. But here's the dining room with me door. And here we have the kitchen. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely goth kitchen. With the dining room. The breakfast thingy thing. I forgot what it's called. I'm too <laughs> tired. But here it is in all its glory. Oh my. All right. Let's move upstairs to the bedrooms and stuff. Bam, 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 bam. There is one part of the upstairs hallway. Wow. And another angle of the hallway. Okay, let's step into the... What is this room? This is the bathroom door. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> here's the sink and stuff. <laughs> And another angle of the bathroom. It is. And then another angle of the bathroom. I like those shelves. And then the toilet room. Why is the toilet paper that high up? Did I place it that high up? I'm gonna fix that. But anyways, here's the primary bedroom. Oh, it's looking lovely. It's looking so nice, actually. And this area as well. Looking funky. And here we got the fireplace and stuff. And another side of the primary bedroom with the funky corner. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Here is one side of the bathroom. Nice. And another side of the bathroom. Look at it. And we're gonna move on. And we're gonna move on to this bedroom, which is Kissan bedroom. It is looking very nice. Very messy. Very angsty. An angsty bedroom. Angsty bangsty. I like this room. I think this is my favorite room. But, you know, let's move on to the office slash nursery. I know, wow. This is looking like a huge mess. It really is. But, I know, this is the messy room. Every person has a messy room. Let's move on to the last bedroom of the house. And here it is. Alexander Ross bedroom. Here's the book cage. Book cage. Book case. Book shelf. Books. He likes books. And here's another list a corner of the room and another corner of the room. Lovely. I do like this room as well. Oh, lovely, lovely. And this room is so cute, actually. I, I love it. And that was it, people. That was it. House tour done. And the video sound too. So this is the outro. <laughs> I uh, hope you really like the house. I truly love this house. I had a blast building it and I love the outcome. I had an enjoyable time. So hope you enjoyed it too. And if you want to download this house, you can. It is up on my gallery and my gallery ID is just Nora Gaming. Yes. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to like subscribe because it really does help me out. So um, thank you. But only if you want to. Only if you want to. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.